Hey guys! Today I wanted to show you a little trick I use for when I am traveling and I want to take my watercolors with me. I am going to be making a little mini DIY paint palette since I am actually going to be out of the country here in a few days actually. I am going to be in Europe for the very first time and I wanted to bring some of my watercolor paints. So here I wanted to just show you an array of different palettes that someone can have, especially a watercolorist. And even this Koi watercolor set is fairly compact and you can bring it with you traveling, but I really wanted to minimize the space and bring just the essentials. And I had made a little watercolor palette out of a Dollar Tree cosmetic eyeshadow palette. And I decided I wanted to make a new one because I have some new colors that didn't make it into that first palette that I wanna bring with me. Here is my old mini travel watercolor palette. And as you can see, I actually have quite a few colors that I managed to fit in this little palette. And I am planning on basically replicating this with a new palette that I bought from the Dollar Tree. And I was gonna take you guys along with me step by step. So even though I really liked the design of this palette, I wasn't able to find the same eyeshadow palette at the Dollar Tree, but I did find this one that had even more wells in it. It's a little bit larger, but it has a few key things that I really like for my travel palettes. So a lot of wells for the actual paint, and it has a clear top to it that I will be taking advantage of when you see this at the end. And it has a really strong closure, which is very, very important. A lot of the cheaper palettes can not close very well, and that's a big problem when you have your nice paints in here. So as you can see, I am messily taking out the little metal pans of eyeshadow if you really liked the, these colors, you could keep these in some other container and use them up. I had a hard time keeping them intact. They bent a lot and they sort of fell apart. I will not be keeping them and I wasn't really planning on using the makeup, but if you want to, you can definitely do that. So I used a palette knife to try to get them out and there's a little bit of glue that I worked on getting out and took off some stickers and things like that and I tried really hard to clean each of the wells as much as possible. Here you can see I also sanded off the top that had LA Colors or some sort of logo on it so that it is completely clear. And what I'm doing, similar to my old travel palette, is I add a little bit of white paper to the top there where it is clear plastic. This ends up giving you a nice white plastic palette to be able to mix colors on the go. So here I'm just cutting out a piece of regular white printer paper to fit the top of this as nicely as possible and making sure that that will fit well and I'm still able to see the white nicely through the top. So here I am gonna open it and you can see that that creates a nice white, clean space for you to mix colors. The way I adhere this is just taking a little bit of packing tape, which I also get from the Dollar Tree, and I layer two pieces of it on top of each other just to make it basically laminated and waterproof. I then cut around the edges to make sure that it is nice and secure on there and doesn't, it won't come off. Something I did with my last palette that I kind of wish I did with this one was put this label on before I taped it down. I ended up doing this after I had already taped down the white piece of paper, so I just had to add a little bit more 
plastic tape on top of this label once I wrote out my fancy little letters on my little label that I got from, I think, the dollar spot at Target. So I actually use a white gel pen because this is going to be protected by the tape and it doesn't really matter if it um, is waterproof itself. Um, and so here I wanted to show you how I created extra wells in the bottom of my old palette. I used hot glue, which is basically just melted plastic. And I actually got the idea of creating extra little mixing wells in the top here from a subscriber of mine and someone who also has an art channel here named Meow Meow Kapow. She recently did a watercolor travel palette tutorial similar to this and it reminded me that I've been putting this off and I really wanted to make a new one and figured I would sit down and make this sort of new and improved one and I wanted to give a little shout out to her because I had not even thought about creating different mixing wells in the top here. So now I have a larger size, a sort of medium one and two smaller ones to mix different colors and it keeps them nice and separated. So I got my colors together and I do have quite a few extra wells than I did in my last travel palette. So it was really fun to expand the colors that I could take with me. So I just have a time lapse here where I am filling up these wells. I ended up using a toothpick to make sure that the color gets really nicely into each of the wells and is somewhat level, I guess. Uh, I'm actually using quite a few brands of paints. Some of them are, actually quite a few of them are student grade. And so, I, and a lot of them I've actually had for a really long time. So there's definitely a discrepancy in texture of a lot of these paints. They're definitely quite different, but I'm also sort of trying to use up a lot of these colors so that I feel more justified in buying new tube paints. <laughs> I actually even mixed a color uh, in that last row or column. I mixed the purple and the uh, or I guess violet and the uh, rose color. And then I decided to add in a little bit of white gouache there at the bottom. And here I'm just creating, similar to my last palette, a little color chart. Um, and I decided to actually add a bit of black, kind of like what uh, in liquid color does to make sure that you can see the opacity because some of these actually have quite a bit of opacity. So here it is with me testing it out, mixing the colors in the different wells, and that is my DIY travel palette. I did want to mention that I have come to realize that gouache does not work well in palettes it cracks and will fall out. <laughs> so I did find a couple resources for this to help remedy this problem. One thing you can do is mix a little extra gum arabic into the paint to help bind it a little bit better and help it from cracking. But something that I ended up doing was adding a little bit of gauze to the top of the paint. You wet it down and you put it on top of the paint and you're able to still kind of get some of the paint through the gauze, but it keeps it stuck together. This is something I picked up from a random blog. If I can find that blog, I'll link it down below, but I think this will work really well for me, especially since I'm gonna be traveling. And at the very least, if it comes out of the palette, it will come out in one solid piece rather than disintegrating and adding itself uninvitingly to my other colors. <laughs> All right, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this and you enjoy little fun tutorials like this. I hope to do more in the future. Let me know if there's a particular thing you would like for me to do a tutorial or video on. I hope you have a creatively fulfilled day and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.